Hello and welcome back to Miss Crafts Lots Lair. I am Barbie and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today is a the first in a series I'm calling Surprise Saturdays. This is the quirky kind of card that I have made for my first Surprise Saturday. Now, I'll um, if you're familiar with Stampin' Up! products, um, you're already telling, you can probably already tell why this is kind of a quirky card. Um, but real fast, uh, to give you a little bit of a, of an idea of what, uh, Surprise Saturday is going to be, is I took all of my stamp sets that are still current, um, and put them in a list in a random generator. And then I took all of my DSPs that I have, and they went into another list on a random gen generator. And I figured, this is going to be a good way to kind of spice up my cards a little bit. Okay. Well, for my very first random generator, unfortunately I can't show you how I did this because of the fact that it is on my phone and I use my phone as this camera. Anyway, um, the first stamp set that it pulled up was the Dragonfly Dreams. Okay. I can work with that. I love this stamp set. I think that the the um, dragonflies are just adorable. And to go along with that, I also have the detailed dragonfly finlets. So, awesome, right? Well, then I ran the DSP, and it told me that I should be using B. Mary DSP. B. Mary is, if you are unfamiliar with this, is our Christmas paper that's in the annual catalog right now. Okay, how am I going to turn something that pairs something that is winter with something that is undeniably summer? So I took on the challenge. And this is what I came up with. Isn't it cute? I'm actually really surprised at how adorable this card turned out. Now, uh, to go into what I used to make this card... The Crumb Cake um, card base is what I started off with. This is an uh, eight and a half by five and a half, and it is scored and folded at four and a quarter to make this the card base. The um, first layer of the card is the Bee Mary um, paper. This is the the garden green background with the white spots, and on the back is the star. Well, I would call them starbursts or snowflakes or one of those, yeah. And this is actually cut to be the first layer, so it is five and a quarter by four. Then we have, um, to accent that, I have a piece of, from the Coffee Break DSP, and this is three inches, yeah, three inches by four and a quarter inches, and that's going to go, um, and they're going to layer in the middle of, and then, Blushing Bride, I have this piece. It is an inch by five and a quarter. And then I have this piece here that is three inches by a half an inch. Fresh Fig, I have a piece of cardstock here that is three and a quarter by three quarters. And I also used garden, um, I'm sorry, green garden uh, cardstock to cut the um, dragonfly. Let me bring these out here real fast. I used this particular dragonfly to cut out the garden green. And then this frame of a dragonfly to cut out, um, cut a dragonfly out of whisper white. So. I will get to showing you how I put this card together. I started off with, let me take out my scrap paper here and move all this paper out of the way. I started off with my scrap paper and my Whisper White Dragonfly. You can see it a little bit there. And I took... Blushing Bride and Fresh Fig inks, along with my sponges. Let me open these up here. Hopefully I won't make too much of a mess today. And starting with the Blushing Bride, I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp 
or uh, my Stampin' Sponge here and start off just coloring in the middle, giving the middle just a little bit of a of a color. Now you don't have to worry too much about the tail, obviously, because the way I'm layering it up with the garden green uh, dragonfly, you're not going to see the tail that much. So I'm concentrating on the um, basically the wings. Some people go in straight lines. I go in kind of a circular motion when I'm just coloring like this. Uh, uh, some people start off the paper. I kind of don't worry too much about that. I want just a little bit more there. And there's the Blushing Bride. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same basic thing with a fresh fig. Get my get some on my Stampin' Sponge here. And just go ahead and color in the tip of the wing. And try not to get too messy. But when you're doing something like this, you're always going to Let's face, let's face it, I'm a messy stamper. Yeah, it's not too bad. Then I'm going to go ahead and put these away because I'm done with the inks. Just needed them to color up the, the wings there. And while that is drying, set that aside here, bring out my basic black ink and the To a Wonderful Friend sentiment from the uh, Dragonfly Dreams uh, stamp set. I'm going to grab my wipe there for a second. Get a little bit of that off my fingers. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Get my fingers in it again. Oh wow. Stamp that. And now it's time to put this card together. Bring out my snail here fast. Let that try just a bit. Mess up my <laughs> my work area here. One of these times I'm gonna get smart and I'm gonna just tape it down. So with my snail open and right side up, upside down snail does not work very well, as I have shown you guys many of times. Go ahead and put this layer down. And the coffee layer. Centered as best as possible. You can eyeball it or you can actually measure it out. I'm not too worried about it. And then put the Blushing Bride strip down here. And this is going to go from the top of the be Mary DSP to the bottom of the DS uh, Be Mary DSP. And again, I'm going to eyeball that and not be too worried about it. And my sentiment. I don't know that what it's like in your neck of the woods, but it is cold outside. I am ready for spring. I'm going to center the... Uh-oh, smudged it just a bit. Oh, well. And I have that layered there. And the next step is to take out my silicone craft sheet and this is available as well on my in the store everything is listed all of the item numbers are listed in the uh, description below 
So then that way you can find all this fun stuff. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to start off and I'm going to put on my craft sheet here, I'm going to put a dab, a dab of my Tombow glue that is seeming to be running out. And in my little jar here, I have a sponge just for this purpose. I'm going to go ahead and turn him over. I have just a little bit of cutting residue on there. Oh, well. And then I'm going to use my sponge to uh, dab on glue onto the back of my garden green dragonfly. I might need a little bit more glue. And I'll show you how this works so wonderfully. I love this technique. It makes gluing things down so much easier. And there we have that. I'm going to move my craft sheet out of the way and bring in my scrap paper here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do then is line up this dragonfly with the one that I just sponged. Get these guys all nice and lined up and stuck down. Like so. And it doesn't give you too much extra around. I did move my dragonfly around a little bit, so there's a little bit where it's just a tad tacky, but I'm satisfied with it. And then it is positioning the dragonfly and the sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and just, again, eyeball it. Toss some snail on the back of the sentiment. And I think about their works. Good. I'm not going to be too tremendously picky with it. And then I'm popping up the dragonfly on some dimensionals here. I think I'm going to cut this one in half. Like so. Tuck down wings. Because I did that, I'm just going to go ahead and take these off the sides. I am a use as much of the dimension paper as possible kind of girl. And then I'm going to take this little piece here between these two. And it's just a tad wider than the tip of this tail. But I think it works good. It's decent. And I probably over dimension no my stuff, but... I want to make sure that it stays put and it's doing what it's supposed to do, so. Peel off the backing for the dimensionals here real fast. And if you buy dimensionals and you see that they look just a little bit different than the dimensionals that I'm using, it's um, because I'm using a paper pumpkin, the <laughs> leftovers. And so I'm going to put him kind of sideways on there. And 
he's almost done. All I need is a little bit of Wink of Stella. Because I think that every dragonfly needs a little bit of shimmer. And so I'm going to come here and shimmer my dragonfly up. And there you have it. A quirky Saturday surprise card. I hope that you liked this. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I am going to be back with lots more videos. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.